Kentucky, 26, Florida, 16. Didn't see this one coming. Not after the way the week one went. Um, Kentucky, Will Levis was actually pretty decent in this game. I mean, he had a stretch here where he was rolling. Cavassier Smoke, 14 carries for 80 yards. That's 5.7 per clip. But if you look at all of the other mess around it, uh, Kentucky only averaged 1.8 yards per rush. That's it. Uh, Passing the ball, 13 receptions for 202 yards. Not bad. I, I wonder if Mark Stoops would leave Kentucky for Nebraska. Just curious. Just just want to see what's going on. But I, I do know that after an emotional letdown spot for Florida. Kentucky had been building up to this one. They didn't look great against Miami of Ohio. Come out in this game, they don't have as many yards, etc. But they, uh, I mean, they were awesome. They found a way to get it done. Post-game win expectancy, 98% in favor of Kentucky here. 4.4 offensive yards per play to only 4.3. Uh, Florida did have more total yards. Kentucky had less turnovers, so that's definitely something that helps. Uh, third down tries, Kentucky converted at a better rate. They had less third downs, but regardless. Um, they only tried to go for it on fourth once. Florida had to go for it three times. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, Holy Sal jumps in. Nah, Stoops is perfect at UK. And, and yeah, totally understand that, but we'll see. That's interesting stuff. Uh, one defensive and special teams touchdown uh, Kentucky did win the field position battle. Started at their own 33 on average. Florida started at their own 27. Uh, but when you look at these numbers, I mean, it was just whew, uh, yards per drop back, pretty good. But EPA per drop back, not great, right? I mean, just just ridiculous. This uh, Florida still has some growing to do, for sure. And Anthony Richardson in this game was not ideal. 14 out of 35 passing, which is not what you want him to do. You want him to be able to run the ball more. Uh, He only had six rushes for four total yards. But 14 out of 35 passing, 143 yards, and two interceptions. Just brutal. That is going to kill you. Um, Humphrey said, remember when Tim Tebow beat Sam Bradford in the title game? What happened to the major programs of Florida the past 10 years? Voodoo? Uh, No, they, uh, they made wrong hires. I tend to believe that they all have the correct hire in place right now. But it's going to take a little bit to actually build that back up because you make the wrong hire, bad stuff happens. So congrats to Kentucky because Will Levis actually looked like the real deal during this ballgame. I was was a little bit shocked at it because he has not been nearly what he was hyped up to be. And yet, he showed out against Florida on the road, did what he was supposed to do, and uh, and it looked good. It did. Kentucky found a way to get a win. That team is tough. Stoops came out after the ball game and talked about uh, who's tough now, basically. Everybody kind of questioned their toughness. And, and I was one of those. <laughs> I thought that Florida was the bigger, batter team, and I was wrong. I was just wrong. And I will continue to apologize for that. We'll, we'll see what Kentucky looks like the rest of the year. But I was, uh, I was incorrect on Kentucky, for sure. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.